that crazy little fuck. Who? Him. Him. King Jong Il. Un. Um. What? Un. Um. Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Il was his dad. Yeah, whatever. Un. Crazy little fuck. He's been saying North Korea is gonna bomb us on Christmas. He's not gonna do it. Yeah, maybe. But he's been making sick fucking jokes about it. He's been telling us we should prepare for a Christmas gift. Sick fuck. You know the kind of gift he means, right? A uh, fucking missile? Exactly, a fucking missile. Whatever. He's been saying that type of shit for years. Uh, so? The guy's a fucking head case. You never know. He gets riled up enough, can't get his dick up for his wife, and boom, we're all ash. All right, all right. No more Fox for you. Oh, oh, right, of course. The Christmas Nazi wants to bury his head in a big stocking and pretend everything's good. Look, at least get me another beer if you're going to make me watch this again. None of this is on me, Pat. You're the one killing yourself here. I'm not the fucking Surgeon General. I'm a bartender. It's been eight years, man. You gotta... You're retired. Got a state pension, a nice wife who loves you. Hell, you didn't even get one of those fucked up cancers from the towers. What are you doing? Getting the... Getting you the fuck home. I called Vera. Oh. She'll be here any minute. Sit down with me. Oh. You're getting heavy. Was she asleep when you called? I think so. She didn't sign up for this. And I did? Ah, oh, you were fine. You want to be a Hollywood actor? Go ahead. Ain't gonna happen, though. You don't belong in movies. You belong right here, dragging drunks out to the curb. That's where I belong, too. We're all where we belong, every one of us. Well, yeah, fuck you, too. I'm serious. You know, after 9-11, I kept, I kept thinking, why did that have to happen? Couldn't somebody have done something so it'd be, so it'd be different? Blah, 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 waste of time. The truth is, we ain't the ones in charge here. We're not behind the wheel. We don't get to make the plans. Some people are meant to die burning up in a skyscraper. Some people are meant to be drunk assholes their whole lives. And a few are meant to be in the movies, but not you. You're not... I'm not what? You, you know, Jewish. <laughs> Go back to sleep, Pat. You're awake. We're putting you... What are you putting this poor kid through, Pat? Ah, uh, he's, he's fine. Chet, I'm sorry. It's all right, really. <sighs> Give him a 10 or something. I don't need a 10. Well, I've still got a lock up. All right, thank you, Chet. Really, I'm sorry about all this. It's really fine. I'm just glad I got a hold of you. Good night. Night, Chetty. You're a good boy. I never seen you read a book in your life. What the hell is that? Huh? Oh, it's an acting book. It teaches you how to act. You know, they make bartending books too. Teach you how to make drinks. Next time a woman walks in and asks for a cocktail, hey, you could actually make it. Great idea, Pat. Time to take those decorations down. Christmas is over, finally. Speaking of, how was your Christmas and all that? <laughs> My wife was very adamant that we go to mass Christmas morning, dragged my hungover ass out of bed at 7.30. She's going through this religious phase now, I guess. 
Never used to make me do that shit. Sounds terrible. Oh, and after all that, two hours hungover in church, you want to guess what she got me for Christmas? A dildo? Shirts. Want to guess what she got me last year? A real big dildo. Shirts. Yeah, bad Christmas all around. How about yours? What happened with your, your kid? The, 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 uh, the dog costume? Uh, you know what? You were wrong. What you were saying the, uh, the other night? The other night? <laughs> Christ, I don't even remember what I was saying five minutes ago. On Christmas Eve, you were saying North Korea was going to blow us all up on Christmas. You see? We're all still here. We're all fine. So? What's your point? I don't know. Just, you can't live life waiting for some giant invisible anvil to fall on your head. Ah, uh, that why you won't turn on Fox News for me anymore? Yep, that's exactly why.